I've been using the Viva color sheet since mid 2021 and I have a few things to say about them, 10 to be exact. <laughs> This video is going to be all about my experiences with this product, the good and the bad, how I found them, why I use them, and why I use my other favorite paints less and less. Stay with me. If you don't know me yet, hi, I'm Chris Fee from OctopusConnection.com and I've been a creative teacher online since 2016. I offer courses, a watercolor membership, and I have over 20 classes on Skillshare.com. So in mid-2021, Viviva Colors had reached out to me to see if I would represent them on Instagram. I was a little wary at first because I didn't have any brand collaborations and I had never heard of Aviva Colors before. When I first received the package, inside was a water brush, one of their cotton sketchbooks, and a set of their original Viviva Colors. Because I'm a typical artist who thinks getting art supplies in the mail is a lot like Christmas, I immediately started painting with them and experimenting with different color combos and subject matters. But the more I learned about Viviva Colors, the more I wanted to use them. I tried botanicals, fashion illustration, landscapes, abstract art. I wanted to see what these paints could do and what I liked using them for the best. It turns out I loved using them for everything. Now here's what I learned about Viviva Colors color sheets after using it for over two years. Number one, they are 100% sustainable. As I mentioned earlier, I learned that these paints were biodegradable and I just felt so responsible using them, knowing I'm not adding any more harmful plastic to the environment and that they're made from non-toxic materials makes me feel really good. Number two, they are handmade. I have been a maker since I can remember and I've had my own handmade jewelry brand, which I still sell to private clients, by the way. I've made my own clothes and I just love crafting things. So I really appreciate that special feeling you get from a product that is made by a human. I really appreciate the work that goes into that as well as the care. Three, this is also a family owned business, which adds another interesting element to this brand compared to the big mass produced brands. And this family comes with a story, one that I thought was pretty intriguing. The founder was preparing to go abroad to university and he shared with his grandmother that he was going to miss his watercolor paints. So knowing how important the creative process was, she encouraged him to find a way to create a sort of travel kit. This was the beginning of Aviva Colors. So the founder worked the name of his grandmother into the title of the company. I absolutely love this. And every time I use the paints, I think of what meaningful family memories they're creating by sharing these paints with the world. Number four, they're made with natural ingredients. So sourcing ingredients for these paints, they decided to go natural and use dyes from the earth. It's a bit different from other watercolor brands that use pigments instead of dye, but Again, that's what sets them apart. More recently, they've even been able to make the paints vegan as well, adding another layer to that sustainability factor. This makes me feel such a connection to them too, kind of like the connection I feel towards nature because these sets are made by hand from natural ingredients. Number five, they're so vibrant. I don't think I was really prepared for how saturated and vibrant these paints were. I really had to reduce the amount of paint I put on my brush during my painting process because I would just saturate my paper way too much. So that was something I had to get used to. I have four sets of color sheets currently and there are 16 colors in each one except for the metallic set which has 10, but there is so much coolness in that set it makes up for the six extra colors. Plus, because silver and gold are the most used metallic colors, they give you two extra of those colors, which I love. Number six, they last a long time. So my first question when I received the color sheets for the first time was how long do these little tiny squares of color last? Because they don't look like much, but don't underestimate these little flat squares because each of them lasts me a minimum of two years and some of them three, depending on how much paint I use. And over the last couple of years, I've painted a lot with these. So I really had a chance to test this out. Just to give you a comparison, the life of these color sheets is about equal to a half pan of traditional watercolor paints. Number seven, they are lightweight. I had so many surprises about this paint set, but another one was how lightweight it was. I hardly notice when it's with me because they only weigh about a few ounces and they're so small. I can fit one into the, my back jeans pocket or in the inside pocket of my handbag. This feature was revolutionary for me since I love to paint on the go. Number eight. 
portability. So again, these sets are small and flat, which means I can hold my paints in one hand while I use a water brush or traditional brush in the other, and I usually don't even need a table. I can use this set in the car while I'm standing up or using a camp stool in a remote location. This makes painting way more accessible for me than it ever has been before in my entire life. I've got so much additional practice because now I have no excuses that I'm outside the studio. Number nine, color sheet replacement. Now, I don't know about you, but when these paints run out, I would have been happy to just toss them and buy another one. They're sustainable. But these color sheets are replaceable. When I run out of color, all I have to do is purchase a refill set, which comes in groups of four colors, peel off the back and stick it on in place of the old one. Then I'm good to go for another couple of years. So now they're not only sustainable, they're also repurposable. Number 10, price. Now, so far I've talked about a lot of value packed into this little tiny product, but there's still another surprise, the price. The reason I say this is because I have priced travel kits over the years and they generally want way more for this convenience. It's a standard we're all used to, but as I'm making this video, the color sheets only cost 22 US dollars and the refill sets are only three US dollars. And sometimes you can even get free shipping. When you purchase these paints through my affiliate link, you can get an extra 10% off on top of that using my code. Now, please note I do get a commission when you do this, but if you don't mind, you're gonna get 10% off your entire purchase. Whew, that was a lot of good stuff, right? <laughs> but I wouldn't be completely honest if I didn't talk about some of the downsides of the color sheets. I mean, let's face it, there's no perfect product out there anywhere. But because these are made from dyes, you want to wash them off your hands immediately after contact with them, or they can tend to stain for a day or so like pen ink. And please be careful with your clothing. Lots of artists wear aprons, but if you don't, please wear something that you don't mind getting dirty. And after you get the paint on your hand or fabric, make sure to go wash it with some mild soap immediately. I actually keep a wet towel at my workspace and just wipe my hands off immediately after I get paint on them. And that always does the trick for me. If you're painting with kids, you're just gonna wanna keep an extra eye on them in this case and have something around to clean them up with right away. Another downside is that the color sheets are not light fast. Now, since I do most of my watercolor painting in a sketchbook that's kept closed most of the time, that's not really an issue for me. But when I wanna hang it out on the wall or gift a watercolor greeting card that might sit out on a table, I use their pan sets, which are light fast. They are almost as lightweight and easy to hold as the color sheets, and they last just as long, if not longer. I've kept in touch with my art friends on Instagram who have purchased Viviva Colors using my link to see what their experiences were because, you know, I want to be able to speak to their usage too. And so far, I have nothing but rave reviews from everyone. And believe me, I pre-warn them about all of these things in advance. Honestly, the cleanup aspect, even though it's a downside, is mostly common sense. And the light fast issue can be fixed by purchasing the cork pan set, which is also 100% sustainable. Even after all that, I'm not done yet. I have a bonus feature for you that you may or may not have spotted during this video. In my opinion, it's the Viviva Color superpower that ties all of these features together and really makes these paint sets usable on the go. The attached flyout painting palette. This glossy little cardboard palette is surprisingly durable and means I don't need to pack one when I travel with these paints. After I use them, I can easily wipe it down and reuse it over and over, but I generally don't, so I can reuse these colors, which saves me time and paint. If you decide to purchase some Viviva colors of your own, I really hope that you enjoy your experiences as much as we all have, but everyone's a little different, so keep an open mind. I can't guarantee that you're going to love them too, but I hope that this video has helped you at least make some educated choices. Well, I hope you enjoyed learning about this pretty fabulous product and I hope it expanded your horizons towards painting and staying consistent with your painting practice. It may not be for you, but if it is, it can really up your painting game and give you so many new options. If you decide to give them a try, I have the 10% off link below in the description with the code. And if you do, I would love to hear from you in the comments about how they worked for you or on Instagram or the Facebook group, which I've also linked below. If you have any questions, you can drop them in the comments as well and I'll be happy to answer them for you. If you enjoyed this video and want more information about learning watercolor painting, watercolor supplies, and joining my free watercolor challenges, there's one coming up soon. 
like this video, subscribe to this channel, and tap the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. And I'll see you right here next week.